Hello, family. Happy Wednesday. I am here today with a family devotional. Um, today we're going to be looking in Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 21. And um, for this particular devotional, you are going to want to have um, some paper and either some markers or a pen, and you're going to want your Bibles as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read the Bible passage out loud. Then I want you to pause the video. And in that pause, I want you to, as a family, make a list. And the list should be entitled, Christians Should, or Followers of Jesus Should. And then I want you to use the Bible verses, the passage from today, to make a list. According to um, this Bible passage, Christians should do or be these things, okay? So, I'm going to read it. Are we ready? Romans 12, we're going to start in verse 9, and it says, Love should be shown without pretending. Hate evil. Hold on to what is good. Love each other like members of your family. Be the best at showing honor to each other. Don't hesitate to be enthusiastic. Be on fire in the spirit as you serve the Lord. Be happy in your hope, stand your ground when you're in trouble, and devote yourselves to prayer. Contribute to the needs of God's people and welcome strangers into your home. Bless those who harass you. Bless and don't curse them. Be happy with those who are happy and cry with those who are crying. Consider everyone as equal. And don't think that you're better than anyone else. Instead, associate with people who have no status. Don't think that you're so smart. Don't pay back anyone for their evil actions with evil actions. But show respect for what everyone else believes is good. If possible, to the best of your ability, live at peace with all people. Don't try to get revenge for yourself, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. It is written, revenge belongs to me. I will pay it back, says the Lord. Instead, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. By doing this, you will, heap pile, you will pile burning coals of fire upon his head. Don't be defeated by evil, but defeat evil with good. Okay, I'm going to let you pause your video. Okay, now, if you're anything like me, your list is probably quite extensive. I only got to the first couple of verses, and my list is already pretty long. Um, I'm going to save the rest of this to do with my family here in a little bit. Um, so, think about this this week. Post this um, this list somewhere where your family can see it. Um, maybe post it on your door, on the door that you use to go out to school and that you come back from, or post it on your refrigerator, or maybe on a mirror that people look at frequently in your house, okay? So post this somewhere, okay, and ask God how you can live these things out this week. Okay, I'm going to pray for us as we head out into the world to be and do these things this week. Ready? God, I would just ask that you would help us this week to embody the type of follower that is described in Romans 12. May we love without pretending. May we hold on to the good. May we be happy in hope. May we devote ourselves to prayer. God, we just ask that you help us to live lives worthy of you. We thank you that you give us this encouragement that allows us to be better at this. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. I hope to see you in person very, very soon. And I will see you later. Bye.